Hey everyone, I thought I'd share what I was doing so before I got it done. Anyway, this is a really, it was a like day, like a getting old. So instead of it being $11, it was like, I could tell you exactly. Instead of it being nine fifty eight, it was five seventy four. A boneless chuck roast, and um, I defrosted it, browned it on both sides with some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. I'm just gonna put the rotel on like that, and. I've got my oven. This is a little too small for it. Um, right now my oven is on 350 and it's, I'm gonna put it in the oven with some, probably a little bit of more, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm gonna add anything else to it. Let's see how that, it's very simple. Salt, pepper, garlic, um, of course, the uh, rotel, which you could just use. I almost just used tomatoes. Anyway, I'm going to stick it in the oven and let it cook for a long time. Okay. It is. I pulled it out of the oven, so it's pretty much ready. And it looks nice and soft. And I'm going to enjoy that. I'm also boiling the rest of these little macaronis that I had like a Maybe a third of a box left. And I'm going to have those with that nice juice. Yeah, I can dig it. Let me taste it. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. The rotel is just spicy enough, and I did put a lot of pepper and garlic, so it tasted great. Over some noodles, yeah, dinner. There's my friend Lily, always in the kitchen when I'm cooking, aren't you? Yes, you are. Rosie! Rose! Hey! She doesn't hear that good. Rosie! Rosie, don't chew your foot. Hey, you. God bless you. Come here. Come on up here. Come on. Come, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Come on. Jump up here. Come on. No? Lily. Lily. Hey, Lily, come here. Come on up. Come on up, Lily. Rosie, you want to come? Get up there. Lily, come here. Get up there. Oh, they're so obedient. Come on, Rose. Show everybody that you can get up those stairs. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the noodles with all the sauce and the wonderful steak, or not steak, but roast. Uh, hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm at uh, Dollar Tree Family Dollar Store, but I just came back. Uh, I got a few things here, and I got the coolest little gift in the, in the mail from Kathy. Wait a minute. Um... She, I don't think she comes in here, but her husband does. But she sent me homemade. We were talking about it on Zoom, and she, she made it for me. She sent me, I mean, she didn't make it for me. This was, she had this. That she made cherries habanero. So it's like a hot, yummy cherry jam. I'm looking forward to having that, Kathy. Thank you so much. That was really, really sweet and kind of you, and I love the note you sent with it. And I am going to uh, probably taste it on camera so you can see that I'm going to love it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just 
on my way back from the shopping here in the little town I live in and uh, got a bunch of stuff I needed. So I'm heading home and uh, gonna make myself some toast. <laughs> Can't wait. Thanks, Kathy. Well, let's see here. It's kind of busy. Huh? Not really. It is Friday. It's May 6th, 2022. I'm on my way to to Kathy and Mark's house. I am going to try and empty all the personal items out of the RV, out of Christine. Which for those of you who don't know, I lived in Christine, which is my 27 foot Salem LE travel trailer. I lived in there for over six years and uh, so anyway in November I moved out but we're gonna put a for sale sign on it very soon so we have to clean out all the crap I left mostly it's stuff that I probably will just give away or throw away you know donate or whatever so we can get it looking nice and uh, sell it to someone who really needs it. It did great for me. I really enjoyed it for a long time, but I need more space and I need a kitchen where kitchen um, counters and places to do art. Even even my apartment now is, is not quite big enough, but it's definitely better. And um, so... Anyway, I'm on my way to uh, spend some time over there and uh, go out to dinner with Kathy and Mark, and I think Mary's coming too. I really, really appreciate having something to do today. Eight years ago today, at 5.20 in the evening, so it hadn't happened quite yet, but yeah, well, it was eminent. My husband passed away, Mark. Mark was a uh, six foot two mechanical engineer, very healthy looking. I mean, he was slim and tall and had a head full of silver hair and a wonderful smile and deep brown eyes and so handy and sweet. It's lovey. It just, anyway. Yeah, today is the day he passed away at hospice from multiple myeloma. That's the name of the cancer that took him. It didn't take long. We we knew something was really bad, something really wrong happened on, in February that year. We went to the emergency room and they did some tests on him and he said to go see his, his VA doctor and we did. And that was the first we heard about possible malignancy, which it was. So he was, he was really sick from February to when he, he died. And um, no matter how many years go by, it doesn't even really matter, I guess. It doesn't matter because Right around this time of year, like as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, it starts with memories popping up that I shared on Facebook, and then I relive them again. Sometimes I share them just because I have to. And, um, you know, he was suffering, and I was suffering, and it was, it was the hardest thing I've ever gone through. And I've been through a lot, you know, in my life. I had it before that. 
so here I am, eight years to the day. Missing him like as if it was yesterday. Some years have been even harder and some aren't easier. This one's harder. I don't know why for in particularly, but tired already. I'll yeah, just leave it in here. Yeah, it's empty in. Almost. Bunch of junk. <laughs> A lot of memories that I don't know how to get rid of. At least the dog's not barking at us. There's the chickens over there. Bill, I wanted to show you the salsa and the green sauce and the chips because we are back at Isabella's. We're celebrating Mother's Day a little early with Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell them we're back at Isabella's, my favorite restaurant. Yeah, I did start eating, but I, I didn't demolish it yet. This is called Vicky's Special. It's chicken breast cut up with peppers and onions and cheese and bacon I think is on there. Then I get the side dishes, extra jalapeno pickle. Kathy got a taco salad. Mark's got a burger, yummy burger, and a little enchilada plate over there. We're making, we're making her hungry. Yeah, well, I hope I make everybody hungry that's watching. I wanna show you where Kathy and Mark has been planting so many pretty flowers. And she gets these uh, irises every year pretty nice huh every year they pop up she said they were even better last week looks good and they're babysitting Sadie which is her son's doggy 
Let's go inside. Whoa, that voice. Oh, she's she's real sweet, but she's so loud. Start. Let me look at you. She smells your doggies. Hey, you, Sadie, come here. Hi, Sadie. Oh, we got extra. Yeah, mom gave me some. I ate two big slices of it earlier. Sadie's a beautiful girl. Hi, honey. She has a loud screech. So we're playing Yahtzee. It's after dinner. And I'm playing Yahtzee with them. Three twos. Three twos. Oh, that's nice. Three twos. Let's see if I can get more. One more. Look at that. Four twos. Yay. Anyway. Just sharing my a little bit of my uh, early evening. It's six o'clock Friday, and if I'm going to be online later, live, which I'm sort of thinking not, just not up for it tonight, you guys. But if I am, I am. We'll see when I get home. Leaving, heading home. We had a good time. Dinner was awesome, and Yahtzee was fun. It's so nice to see them and have some fun. And Mary is so sweet. I'm so glad she's with us. Oh. dinner. I'm a little bit late. They're going to be hungry. I've had so many smiles today and tears today. I have a, 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 automo, a, a truck full. It's a truck full. I don't even know how I'm going to empty this truck. Not all at once. Look at all this stuff. It's everywhere. It's just all kinds of crap that I just can't can't throw away. A lot of memories. Fits. If the song 
fits again. this video so that I put a video out and I hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you do and hit the notification bell so that when I do upload you'll know. Yeah. What? And when I go live. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.